Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new around here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you will never miss anything interesting. These days I do random videos and I love going to Dollar Tree. So I picked up a full face of makeup that I just found there. So I kind of wanted to try it on and see what kind of look I get. When I go to the Dollar Tree, sometimes I find some good name brand stuff there. So I have some Maybelline and you know a few LA colors things which is you know the staple at Dollar Tree and they have this new lash brand there called Ioni and I really wanted to give those a try because they looked really pretty so let's get started and check all this stuff out first thing I'm gonna put my hair up and out of my face now we're ready let's start with complexion today I don't know if you know this but they just started selling wet and wild photo focus there and I was kind of shocked to see it, but happy at the same time because I love this foundation. So let's um, give this a shot. I haven't worn this one in a long time. I'm just gonna do a light layer today, but you can get super full coverage with this one. Kind of smells uh, like paint, but uh, um, I'd say it's definitely worth a dollar for sure. So that's what we're looking like with the foundation. And I think it's pretty good coverage for a basic light layer. Now they didn't have um, standard concealer, but they also sell the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. So I figure we can just use this as concealer today. I would say that doesn't look too bad. Next step powder this is LA colors pressed powder and I got it in the shade tan and I'm gonna make sure to specifically get under the eyes but I'm quite happy with that and I would use this on a normal day I like that I have the LA colors bronzer and this has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but I don't mind that. Now I noticed LA Colors kind of revamped some of their packaging. So now they're doing like these rectangle shapes and I think it looks a lot better than their circle pans personally. So that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild little angled brush and see if this applies it all right. I need a fluffier brush than that. Don't recommend that angled brush for bronzer. I'm just gonna go into my normal bronzer brush. Okay, so this is very warm. Hold on, let me look a little bit closer. This is very warm toned and it is very shimmery, but I don't hate it. Now we're going to do highlight and I got this highlight from Hard Candy and it's the light and bouncy highlighter glow dome and it's like a jelly highlighter, I guess, but it's a hard pan highlighter. Here's what it looks like. very hard press in the pan and it's very it's very smushy see that's pretty cool oh I like that it's a very um natural highlight It's natural, but visible. I think this is a hit for a dollar. Now blush, and I just got the LA Colors powder blush. I'm sure you've seen this around. They didn't have a newly packaged one or anything, just this old one, so. But I did get in the color Berry Plum.
Can you see that? That looks good. So far, I've been nothing but impressed. Yes, I put a lot of blush on. Now, I did buy a contour, but it is a cream, so I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, I'm taking my contour brush and I am going to try to blend this out. Do you see this line that's on my cheek? I can't blend it, it doesn't blend. So we're just gonna have a line, that's all right. Sometimes it just happens. If I was going somewhere, I would redo that, but I'm not really worried about it. We're just actually testing the product, so. Uh, that was a flop, and I do not recommend the contour stick. Okay, the next thing is setting spray. All right, let's hop into brows. So, first we're gonna use the pencil, and I got the LA Colors brow pencil, and I got it in soft brown. It's a sharpenable pencil too. Not my favorite, but they work. The pencil is very dry. It's hard to get a dark line, like a line that you can see. And the color is a little warm for me. It's not, I like more of a cool tone brow, so I probably would not use this very often because it just doesn't give me what I'm looking for so I'm probably gonna pass this one on all right now let's test out the little spoolie that it came with and see how good yeah that's not bad that works now we're going to use the brow cream gel the color looks very warm toned so, I mean, at least it'll, oh, that's funny. It, it, it looks very different when you take off the first layer. Let me zoom in on that. See, when you take off the first layer, it looks like a different color. That is a color that I really, really like. I love this. And it's a nice, like, um, goopy texture so it's not dry at all so I highly recommend this if you're looking for a pomade that's a good one that is a good pomade okay now I'm gonna run the spoolie through it again I'm gonna tight line and do my waterline before I do my eyeshadow and for that I'm gonna use the LA Colors auto eyeliner all right so this eyeliner is of gray and I don't really care for it. There's just so many black eyeliners that you can get nowadays that I mean I wouldn't waste your time with this one. So that's a new on that. Now eyeshadow palette time. This is LA Color 12 color eyeshadow palette and I got it in the style trendy. I'm just gonna take um the sequin shade right right here. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. Okay, there's the first shade. Now I'm going to go in with, there's really no depth in this palette. But I'm going to try for this dark blue right here. And put that on my outer corner. See what that does for us. now I'm going to take a shimmer shade on a flat brush or just something like this kind of flat brush and um, I'm going to put that on my lid. So I'm just taking this corner shimmer shade right here. All right, uh, the shimmers, eh, no. You know what I could say about this though? It's freaking reliable. So if you're in a pinch and you need an eyeshadow palette that you can count on, 
you can pick one of these up and know that you're going to get pigment from it. You know that you're going to get easy blendability from it. But are you going to get a look that is a remarkable, outstanding look that, you know, you, you want to post all over social media? Hell no. Not the best, but I'm, I'm not mad at it. The next thing that I wanted to play with is this Maybelline Lasting Drama Teal Eyeliner. And it comes with a brush and everything. Okay, so I got some on the brush. And now I'm going to line... It's nice, but it's more natural than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of a vibrant pop of color. Of which it's not. Now we're going to play with the Ioni Lashes. And I got the Ioni Lash Glue to go with it. And I got these in the XL Wispy Full Dramatic. So these are probably going to be entirely too big for me, but I don't care. So there's the lashes on. They are so big and dramatic and I love them. So now that I'm going to let those dry a little bit, I'm going to go in and do my lips and then we'll come back to mascara. By the way, that lash glue is giving Velour Lash Glue a run for its money because it went on so easily. I usually, I, hey, I'm telling you, I run in. I run into so many lash problems and my velour lash glue is the best I've found and I still have problems getting it, getting it to stick and this one first time no issues I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing with that one for sure okay and it's just a simple retractable one okay there's the lip liner on for the actual lip color we're gonna take this wet and wild cushion lips it comes with a little cushion top like that and you squeeze it and see how it comes out the top I don't know how much to do so what do you think about this lip color I don't know if I'm feeling it Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna take the Maybelline Snapscara. These are only a dollar and they had all sorts of colors, but I got the ultraviolet because I already have some that I paid full price for. Now I'm gonna go in and combine my natural lashes with the false lashes and do my lower lashes. Okay, so here is the finished Dollar Tree look. I'm going to look through this box and tell you what my standout products were and the things that are like the things that you should run out and go get and the things that you should skip. Here's my top picks. First off, this Ioni lashes. They have different styles too. You don't have to just get these. And this Ioni lash glue. These these were both really good. And then if you can find these two Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundations, those are definitely worth a dollar. And the last thing that's worth a dollar is this um, LA Colors Brow Gel. This is very good and I really enjoyed it. Now for the things that I think you should absolutely, absolutely skip. First, this contour stick. I couldn't blend it worth the crap. And this LA Colors Auto Eyeliner, it, it's just not the best. And then this LA Colors Bronzer, I don't think this is gonna be for everybody unless you like a very warm, very, very shimmery bronzer. And then lastly, this Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner. This is not exactly what I thought it was gonna be. And, uh, it just kind of disappointed me so i wouldn't buy that again well that's everything for today and i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down to let me know how you're feeling about this video and until next time bye